Okay, controller shortcut. How to work with uh, Kinect? Uh, is it capable of uh, putting out MIDI data that I can use uh, in a sequencer or a, a VJ program? Yes, it is. What do you need? You need a Kinect. Don't take V2. Maybe there's are folks out there who take the V2. I took the Xbox 360 and it's uh, the 1414 uh, serial. So don't take a new one. With this one, uh, all the things I explained right now, uh, they will be working. Uh, Kinect is uh, adapted to one notebook I've got here via USB. Uh, this is probably one of the features of this old uh, Kinect that you can use USB directly. You don't need a special kit uh, to run it on Windows. And don't take Windows 10. For what I'm doing here, it's a Windows 7 system um, because most of the drivers don't work on Windows 10. Uh, first of all, of the drivers, first thing I need is um, Synapse. Uh, Synapse is uh, here, over here. You can have a look. It's uh, running on this PC and tr tracking the skeleton data. If I move a little bit away, you see I I'm moving my arms. And this data are on the matri matrix uh, X, Y, and even Z going near or, or back. Uh, of course, I'm producing data, and this data can be used by a different program, uh, can be routed there. And this one is Kinectar. It's a freeway you can download on the internet. And Kinectar, as you see with the balls over here, is taking the data from Synapse. Uh, you also can use our skeleton, but that's probably quite hard uh, to. Um, put onto your PC because uh, our skeleton must be compiled. Uh, you must uh, take uh, some visual software to compile it. Well, okay, this one works here. You only have to use Synapse uh, uh, on here uh, as uh, input. And the output is USB. I've taken one USB interface here. Uh, and this inter interface goes into a different, another interface. They are both connected via MIDI, as you can see here. This is crazy two interfaces connected to each other. One is the output coming from the skeleton data and connector and the other one is going into this PC via USB uh, and on this PC I'm running Cubase 9 right now and uh, there's RetroLock or any synth you want to use on that one you might use. And after I did that you can put on your interface, I got this focus right thing here, and move your hands It's capable of ca capturing anything you do with your body here. Um, and the best thing about it is uh, you don't only have to put it on there, you can al also use a video software like uh, a Grand VJ from uh, Arceus, I think it is, uh, and do performances, do installations, uh, do pedagogical work with kids. Uh, you must imagine uh, whatever you put on, uh, if you know MIDI, <laughs> you can put on the other side anything you want to put there. there are guys, there's guys out there who, who do a string quartet by that and even controlling filters, cutoff resonance, whatever, by this here. So, one PC um, Win7 with connector and uh, Synapse, uh, Xbox. And the other one, I took the other one, it's not necessary, I can also uh, uh, just ad attach a synth, a hardware synth via MIDI, that's easier. But I want uh, the full power of Win10 and uh, 64 bits and all this software that's running on Win10. This is not running Win10, this is one running Win10 and uh, they are connected. And so, that's how it works. Thanks.